MPs out here today, we're unanimous in your support. We're standing solidly with you. The cuts and the undermining of working conditions and pay, we know that the service eventually suffers because it's difficult to retain and recruit staff because it's difficult on these wages to survive. And then what that means, you know as well as I do, passengers start complaining and they start looking elsewhere. And we have a company that has no loyalty to the service itself. We're talking about management who are interested in short-term bonuses, a fast buck. If you're the age that I am, you still think of it as the national carrier. But of course it's not. It's a rudely and vicious commercial organisation. First, they came for my sandwiches, didn't they? And then they came for my wine. And now they've come for my crew! And it will not do! We ain't got any more deep coal mines left in Britain. And so I look round for where trade unionists are powerful and strong. And there's no doubt about it, and you ought to understand this, the airports are the pits of the future, as far as the unions are concerned. If I'm looking for solidarity, then I find it at each road. And we've got a campaign until we've got all those people on Virgin, the same as you. And those and the other airlines that are standing by you. For always remember this, you can't have a strike unless you've got an enemy. And that is the management of the age. I'm very pleased that you're now making inroads into those areas where you didn't have the union membership before. That's crucial. your wings before the enemy get to them first. I'm looking forward to another Labour government that will not be like Blair and Brown. <laughs> it will be like MacDonald and Corbyn. But one of the things we committed to, and believe me we'll do it if we get that majority, and that is to get rid of sequestration and all the attacks upon the trade union movement when they're involved in conflict. I tell you what the most shocking things are about this dispute is their ability under existing law is to bring in Qatar Airways in the way that they have. So let's, so let's be clear, when we go into government, and I hope it will be soon, but it will be inevitable when Labour goes into government, We'll make sure there are employment laws that prevent this ever happening again. Yeah. Ever. It's always about politics and the unions fighting together. And when those in leadership are fighting alongside the unions, there's nothing but victory on the horizon. Picket lines have been set up in four hospitals in East London. I'm a hospital porter, domestics and security guards are fighting the effects of privatisation and exploitative working conditions just like yourselves. 700 of us have entered into a seven day strike this week after a two day strike last week for a 3% cost of living pay increase and against cuts that will see our members' unsocial hours and payments reduced. We need to join up the struggles, not only with Unite branches like you and the health service, but our sisters and brothers about to go into action in the Bank of England. This volcanic pit, that whether it's the health service or it is air travel, the people essential to safety are put at the bottom of the heap. I'm delighted to announce that the Regional Committee of the London Eastern Region yesterday voted unanimously to make a further £10,000 donation to your fighting back one. Comrades, onwards and upwards, onwards to victory.